Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am headed over to the brick making building. I got a little bit of cleaning to do, a little bit of inventory to do, a little bit of packaging to do to start this beautiful day. We're currently listening to the one of the recent Joe Rogan podcasts um, comparing vegan and paleo based diets. He also had one that was um, with Don Agostino and Lane Norton. Highly recommend checking that out, but very good podcast coming from Joe Rogan lately. Main takeaway so far is eat vegetables with your meat. Alright ladies and gents, I've got a bunch of errands to run today. Um, I'm going to go to the post office, drop off some packages, check the P.O. box. I've got to run to the kitchen supply store and pick up some sheet pans that I pre-ordered. Um, and then I need to go to the grocery store because I've changed my meals slightly for how I'm going to hit these 6,000 calories. Um, not a whole lot of change, but mostly what I'm doing, pretty similar to what I've been doing. The the fatty coffee in the morning with butter and heavy cream, uh, the 75-25 ground beef with half a thing of cream cheese instead of a full thing of cream cheese, um, either one or a half a keto brick. Uh, meal two is going to be a ribeye and two tablespoons of butter. And then meal three is going to be one of those fatty shakes. And I feed half a keto brick in meal one, I'll put the other half in that shake, but it's going to consist of the heavy cream and all those oils that you see me pour into the other shakes. Um, so yeah, that is what is going to get me my macros. That's going to bring my protein down a little bit from 250 to 230. And it's going to bring my fat up a little bit from 550 to 556. So not a huge change there. But that will be right at 6,180 calories. And basically, this is going to be a little bit easier. I've been drinking a lot of my calories just to get it in easier than trying to consume that much food. Um, Y'all have been asking about the blood test results. I have not gotten those back yet, so I apologize there. So hopefully they will come in soon. So yeah, uh, my battery is about to die, so I might not be able to take you with me, but I'll catch you when I get back. All right, I'm back. Let me show what we got. I got some of these vegetable medley things. You just steam it in the pouch. Um, probably not optimal if you're trying to avoid plastic, but I got my Brussels sprouts as well. Heavy cream, and I had to go to Edwards, so none of this is like the top of the line, Whole Foods quality, but it's what I'm working with. Fidel Phil Philadelphia cream cheese. And then I normally get my meat from US Wellness Meats, but again, I do not have that right now, so I got my Angus beef ribeye, and then I was surprised to find that they actually had 75, 25 ground beef as well. And again, this is not gonna be near the quality that I'm getting from US Wellness Meats, but we're about, I've got a wedding to go to this weekend, so I'm going to be gone when the, the shipment of meat would probably get here. And I don't want to let it go to waste, so I'm just not going to order until I get back in town. So, I'm going to cook this up and eat it up right now. Alright y'all, while everything's cooking, I'm going to open up this box that I told y'all about in my newsletter. And I don't really know how to incorporate it. So, let me show what I got. Got these little test tube vial things. And then I got this big old container of ketone aid, which is the exogenous ketone esters. Um, so, yeah, this is a ton. This is 60 milliliters, 10 servings. <clears throat> so, a ton of ketone esters. I just don't know how I'm gonna incorporate it. I'm thinking maybe, I'm training chest today, so I might have some, do like a pre and post ketone test, and then see how it how I respond in the workout. So let's plan on that today. We'll give it a shot. Boom, check it out, y'all. We got some 75, 25 ground beef and sauteed veggies, soaking up all that oil. All right, slight change in plans, y'all. I was gonna take 60 milliliters of this ketone aid right now prior to going to the gym, but I just talked to Frank, who is the founder of Ketone Aid, and I think I'm going to do, um, he wants me to do like 15 milliliters, like microdose it basically, for like a week's time daily, and see how that impacts me as opposed to taking a large bolus all at once. Um, but I'm traveling this weekend for a wedding, so I don't wanna start that until next week, but I am gonna take like, mm, I'll do 20 milliliters now, because I want to see if it helps with my inflammation in my ankles, and then I'm also about to go to the gym, so, so I want to see if that impacts me at all. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get a baseline 
uh, glucose and ketone reading. All right, so glucose, 93. Focus, there we go. Um, and I ate about an hour ago now, so that is probably gonna skew my numbers a little bit, but what the heck. And again, I'm only going to take about 20 milliliters of the uh, ketone aid. So we have 1.3 millimolar on a ketone. That's pretty good for me, actually, uh, having just eaten. I cannot complain. So the first time I tried this stuff, it was just like a like a little bottle. Um, so it's pretty sweet that he's got these big jugs. Now I'm digging that. Um, this stuff does not taste great though. So he gave me some gum to try to like cut the bite of it with, but I've gave I've given up gum. I don't know if it was a shake or not, I don't remember. Um drink between ten and sixty milliliters on an empty stomach, do not exceed 150 milliliters a day. Yeah. Chill, chug, chase. I'm supposed to chase it, but I'm I'm just gonna drink it straight, hardcore. He also has these like super handy little measuring things, which makes it much easier. So let's uh let's get a get 20 milliliters, y'all. All right, there's 20 milliliters in there. Not gonna chase it. It does not smell appetizing. <sighs> That'll get you going. And if it's not from the ketones, it's from the flavor, let me tell you. So, 20 milliliters down, it is currently 2.45 p.m. I will get another test. I'll, I'll, I got a little bit of work to do before I go to the gym. So I'll test my levels again in about 15 or 20 minutes, and we'll see what they've done. So get ready for that all right so I've been outside it is currently 322 so it's been about 40 minutes um, so a little bit longer than I anticipated I've been outside loading the dumpster let's see what I'm registering now it should still give me a pretty Good indicator. 40 minutes isn't too long in the grand scheme of things. <clears throat> All right. One point four. So not a huge increase. Um, but again, I only took 20, 20 milliliters. The first time I took that stuff, I took 60 milliliters all in one dose, and in 15 minutes, it jumped from like. I don't remember, it was like 0.5 to 4.5 in 15 minutes, I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, so, again, I'm gonna try uh, just microdosing this stuff for the next week or so, starting when I get back from this wedding this weekend, and we'll see how it feels. Um, I'm about to go to the gym train chest now, so catch ya there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, headed to the gym. It's gonna be so good to get back in there, training chest today. I'm not going to be able to really film because Crystal's in Washington and she's not with me. She's my main camera girl. So, my only camera girl. So, no filming today. I'm just going to go in there, kill it, get in the zone, meditate. Alright, y'all. Workout in the books. Solid chest workout. I'm sweating a lot more than normal. It's super humid out here, so I don't know if it's the humidity or if it's that uh, ketone ester. I was sweating a lot when I was taking the trash out of the dumpster, too. So, it's possible that ketone ester is making me sweat a little bit more, which I actually kind of like. All right, y'all, just leaving my uncle's place. He was storing some of my uh, frozen ground beef and deer meat for me. I'm driving out of dirt road, y'all, so don't crucify me for not wearing a seatbelt. But, uh, yeah, he had, I didn't have enough space when I moved out here, so he's got all my frozen deer meat and whatnot in his freezer. So I just picked up that, and I'm stocked back up on venison and good old protein. All right, y'all, I got my freezer full of meat. I've got uh, venison. I've got the pemmican strips or sticks in there. And then I've got that 75, 25 ground beef and some beef liver. And then I've got, 
a ribeye in the sous vide. So about to chow down on that in about an hour. Jack is eating his meal. And then I've got my steak ready to go on the sear. It just came out of the sous vide. This is what it looks like. After the sous vide, the main thing is to make sure it's padded dry. And then you get um, like a skillet just scalding hot. And then place that baby on there. Yeah, buddy. And that is the finished product. Super easy, super simple. Gotta love it. All right, about to call it quits for the day, but before I do, I'm gonna make my 2,000, 2,500 calorie shake and uh, drink that up. That'll be my macros for the day, hitting my 6,000 calories. Lots of running around today. Um, I hope to get some more unique content for you tomorrow. Just kind of crazy, like Crystal's gone, so I'm just like plugged in, like work mode, work mode. Um, especially trying to make up for yesterday, since yesterday was not as productive, so. I'm gonna get some new content for that. I'll just wait. I got something coming. You just wait. Here's what that shake looks like before I mix it up, though. It's got about three cores of a keto brick and a whole bunch of oil and heavy cream. Pretty thick today. It's almost like ice cream more than a slushy. Get a spoon. Boom! Check that out, y'all. Now, if that isn't a big old calorie ice cream shake thing, I don't know what it is. Mm mm mm. Very good. All right, I'm about to go to bed. But before I do, I'm gonna call my baby. She is in Wyoming right now. You're on the vlog, baby. Right now? Yep, this is the last clip of the day. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, you got any words? Uh, no, I don't have any words. How much farther you got? Uh, I got a Oh, I love you. Two hours and 49 minutes? Yep, 180 miles. In case y'all didn't know, in the vlog, let me catch you up to speed. My house up in Washington that I bought, we're selling it, uh, we're listing it next week, and then we have like some stuff there from when we used to live there, so Crystal's going up there to pick that up in the van right now, and to spend some time with her family, so that's what's going on there. So she's gonna be in Washington this week, and then I'll see her in a few days. I miss you, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna talk to her. I'll catch y'all later. See you tomorrow.